Sakina has been at the Central Johannesburg TVET College and she's going to be chatting to a couple of students there. Also, thank you for sending in your views, your comments about TVET colleges and, and we hope today's broadcast has changed your mind in terms of what you can actually achieve being at a TVET college. Bless you all. See you tomorrow morning. It's cheers from me, Sakina. Over to you. Well, have a good one, Leanne, and uh, welcome back uh, to the uh, Central Johannesburg TVET College. And this is, of course, we've moved to another location where there's, a, of course, a lot of machinery. And we are joined by Mr. Magadi. He is, as we are told, the gentleman of this house. And he's going to talk to us about some of the machines that we will see here. But, Mr. Magadi, perhaps we can start by you just telling us very briefly what you do in this facility. Uh, good morning, Sagina, and all your listeners. Uh, I'm Mr. Magidi, like she says. Uh, I'm here. I'm a, a workshop instructor, stroke a lecturer. I'm the one who took the students who are doing mechanical engineering, fitting and training through the journey to experience the, the practical out of their theory knowledges. So I make sure that they able to know the working principle of different industrial machines and knowing the safety when they are working onto that different machine, uh, industrial machines and also knowing how to, how to use them to produce different types of components. Okay. That's what we do here. Mr. Magidi, we're going to take a slight uh, you know, walk through here, but yes. maybe let's start with the machine behind us. Tell us what this is and what you can do on it. This is a, a milling machine. As you can see, the gentleman who's busy here is doing a level four I set. It's a pet one. He's doing some of the part that is going to combine into a machine vice. In this machine, you can able to make a, a gears. You can also make a key and key ways. A, a slot you can also do in this. You can even tap on this type of machine. This is our uh, milling machine. Okay. Thank you. As we walk, uh, you know, more machines both to our left and right. So uh, these ones on our left-hand side, what are these? These are the center lathe machines. Uh, the lady here on my right, she's doing a, a hammer handle, which is a level two I set. And the gentleman on here on my left is busy with level four, the piece that is going to be combined in a level four I set. In this type of a machine, we can able to make a screw. You can tap in this machine, you can drill, you can nail, you can make a taper turning, you can also do a parallel turning. For practical ways, if you see a bolt and nut, uh, it's been made, manufactured from this type of a machine. That's what we do here in this type of machine. All right. Let me just quickly get in there and maybe speak to one of the students here uh, very briefly. I believe her name is uh, Confidence. Confidence, I'm so sorry to bother you. You are very busy. Uh, just tell us what exactly you're doing. Uh, I'm facing a workpiece, which is part of our ISET. Right. And uh, why did you choose to choose? Why did you choose this uh, career path for yourself? I chose this career path for myself because it it allows my creativity to come into life and also allows me to shape part of the local industries. Ah, so what are you hoping to do once you've qualified? Uh, I will help in to creating more workpieces for other industries and also help other students to be able to do the workpieces on their own. So you enjoy what you're doing? I really enjoy it. Okay. As you can see, Confidence is very busy there. She's very confident about her skill set and what she's learning. Uh, and you can actually just see the level of concentration from these students in terms of what they are doing. Uh, Mr. Makiti, you stopped here. You want to tell me more about this? Okay. This one, again, he's still using the milling machine. But this time, this one, he's doing, a, I said, for level three is producing out of a round material that you can see there. It's making different shapes. The square, the hexagon, and the triangle. You can able to make it there. That's what his gentleman is doing there. It's uh, level three, I said. Okay. Interesting. So uh, all of these parts that we use on a daily basis that goes into different things and different machines, into our cars and different objects that we use every day, these are the sort of skills that you are preparing these students to uh, be able to take into the workplace. There you are right, Sakina. Even if you can talk about the machine that we just passed now, 
if you've got a problem with your, uh, a car, a cylinder, when they say we are going to press the bearing, these are the, some of the machines that you can even use to press your bearing in if you have to use it on the industry. To, to make some bolt and nut, you even use these machines. To drill a hole, we've got a different uh, drilling machine in here that we can use it. So you've spoken about different levels and I want us to walk to this desk here uh, because we want to take a look at the various levels of training and what the students produce uh, because in the end it's all about making sure that these students are ready for the workplace when you send them out into industry. So uh, here's a bench where students are very hectically at work, but yeah. also we can see some of the examples of the work that has already been done and produced by the students. So feel free to talk us through what's on the table here. Okay, no problem, Sakina. Okay, as you can see here on the tables, we've got a level two student who are busy with their program, I said. At the end, the student must be able to produce these. This is a, an engineering blog, that's at the end they must have. In this, the student will be learning how to control a file, how to control a hexo, how to use an engineering square, and also how to use a, a drilling machines, and also how to use a hand tapes. That's what they will be learning in producing this. And then again, we've got this. This is uh, a machine vice. As you can see, this is exactly like this one. And this one is a level four, and I said. In this one, the student have to go through all this type of machine. If you can see that, this is a lot of operation that going on here. The student know how to make a thread, how to mill a block into size, how to drill, how to tap, how, how to nail. A lot of all the operation that you can find in here, they've been completed by level four when they are producing this, I said. It's a, a, vice, a vice, vice, vice machine. So when you look at that vice machine, yes. uh, the student who did that, how would you assess that? Uh, when I assess this, uh, they've got uh, uh, the, the document that help us to assess the student, where they will find a drawing of these parts. When you assess them, you check if the workpiece of the student is according to the size. Is the student use the right material? Is the student drill all the holes into the uh, right position? And this work, when it's completely, can able to move if for that every student get a tick for that. So what would the student get for this uh, A, B, C, D? Uh, for this one, the student, I can give the student uh, B for the fact that um, this vice doesn't move. Okay. So meaning uh, there was a, a misplace of the holes. The holes are not aligning perfectly. And then for that, I can give the student uh, B, if not C. Okay. Yes. So, you know, this is what is being done here at uh, the uh, Central Johannesburg TV at College. And I'm just calling Mr. Mnisi, uh, the principal. We started the morning off with him. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Magidi. And um, Mr. Mnisi, it's been such an informative morning. Um, just your final word to people who are watching. As we said, our focus is on TV at colleges and changing the narrative. Uh, what would you like to say? No, thank you very much, Sakina. I, I must really say, and taking the words from the DM, that, look, gone are the days where we think of uh, TVET colleges as glorified uh, uh, schools or high schools. We are competing with the uh, universities, the type of uh, programs that we are offering. You can see for yourself, it's not only theory that we are offering. It's an opportunity uh, for the community, for the country as a whole, to uh, direct students to TVET colleges because we are the future. Well, Mr. Goodman Mnisi is, of course, the acting principal and our host this morning. And I hope that you were as excited as we were uh, just taking a walk through and looking at everything that is being done here at uh, the uh, Central uh, Johannesburg TVET Colleges. And this, of course, is the Ellis Park campus, one of seven. It's been a very interesting morning and I've loved all of your comments. And with that, that's the end of this morning's uh, Morning Live. We'll see you again bright and early tomorrow morning. With that, it's uh, over to the Agenda team. Until tomorrow.